what is up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mark Talks Football and today we are carrying on with Deportivo La Coruña save. We have played a lot of games since the last time you saw us. Um, we are unbeaten in the league. We will actually be very good at football. This is a very weird situation we're in. So today we've got two, we've got the last two games of the Champions League. We're going to Italy and then we're at home against Leipzig. Then tomorrow's episode we have a Galactico Derby Part 2. So that will be coming as well. But in today's episode, let's get into it. Let's show you the results of what's been going on. <laughs> Last time I saw you, we played Ajax. Then we played beat Granada 3-1. Luka Jovic getting the goal. Agu has been an absolute sensation again. Then we beat um, Atletico Palploma, which I think is Osasuna in this game, 2-0. Um, then we brought beat Crayon 4-0. Paul, as you can tell, with a full rotated team, got four. Drew against Las Palmas, because they are the bogey team against us. Beat Villarreal 3-0, um, Jovic, uh, Scott McTomney and Alpine. Beat this team 5-1, Hospitality 5-1. Um, Cadiz, we beat 4-0, Jovic with two, Renier, Scott McTomney as well. And then we lost to um, Oviedo in the third round. I swear, we lose in the third or fourth round every season. So last season, fourth round. Season before that third round and our first season third round so we can never get past the fourth round so in today's episode as i said before we're going to be playing um ac milan and then we're going to be playing uh uh red bull leipzig um we're going to skip um the derby um due to the fact of they're not important to us anymore um we're more important but if we look at league competition right now in the champions league we are currently outside of the playoffs. We are one point out. We need to find a way of getting at least a win in the next two to have a chance of going in there. But with AC Milan, they're currently up there as well. And Red Bull Leipzig are no, there. They're just below us. So that is going to probably be the most crucial game. But we are second in La Liga. Um, with uh, Alpine, the top goal scorer for us. Joint first with Victor Osiman and then you've got Felix Agu, 11 assists, 9 for um, Familia Castillo, um, play of the matches as well with top of that, we second in the most yellow cards, and third, joint second with clean sheets as well, so everything's going our way um, to this point. I'm able to now add the two players to the Champions League roster, um, so that's good. So now we've got a full, full team. So if we need to make changes or anything, we can straight away. Um, let's see what we can do here. Why are you showing me all the flowers? And I don't know why. Right. Zidane Zidane is the manager for AC Milan. The legend who played for Juventus. Never played for Milan, to my knowledge. He didn't, did he? Alright. I'm questioning myself now, because I don't think he ever did. Uh, Real Madrid, Juventus, Bordeaux. Yeah, okay, he never did. But yeah, he's been manager of them now. Three years and not won anything. Maybe they're, they're just the top half stuff. Right, Ape Salam, who are currently ninth. So this is going to be a big scout for us if we can do it. But who knows? This is going to be a test of time for us. Cilia. Agu. Can he do something with it? Down to the linear. Agu. Agu do do do. No. Close to that. I have slept so awkwardly. My hip is hurting. My neck's hurting. Falling apart, ladies and gentlemen. Right, 20 minutes gone, and I can honestly say that um, fuck all has happened. So, but this is good for us, because we get into the playoffs. 
See, I look at this team and I go, we've done it right or we're getting it right in the league. I just think if we sprinkled a world-class player in like each position, not each position, but if you look down the centre of the team, like a world-class goalkeeper and maybe a world-class centre-back and a world-class midfielder, goal, Scott McTominay, seventh goal of the season for us. And that is exactly what we needed for this team. Familia Castillo again, near post. McTominay's there, drives quickly, heads it down. And the keeper had no chance. Yeah, like one world-class central midfielder, to one world-class uh, like behind the striker. I think we've got the attackers for it. And we've got a really good backup system going as well. We have built a very fucking good team. It's European football I'm not comfortable with. Because something seems well off. Maybe it's the formation for European football, I don't know. But Ruben Loftus-Cheek has got his second goal of the season for AC Milan. And he gets it on the stroke of half-time. I just feel like a world-class... I think my aim next season is a world-class defender. Someone that, yeah, is going to cost a bit of money. But fuck me, Barcelona are smashing Radu, the team that we beat last time. 7-0, Jesus. I feel sorry for those type of teams that have to come into the Champions League. Great tackle by Agu. Can we play our way out? Luka Jovic is a player we signed from AC Milan, so he's coming back to his old stomping ground. Probably trying to prove a point. Good defending there. All right, here comes Theo Hernandez. Cross it to the back post. Keeper clears it. Shoot. Right. Getting a bit peppered here. It does feel like AC Milan are growing into this game in the second half. But we have a corner kick here. We're going to aim for the back post. Doesn't get it, but Agu gets it. Cuts in. Oh, great save by the keeper to stop it in this near post. All right, Familia Castillo. Go near post again. No, go short. Back to Familia Castillo. Agu finds Alpine. And that's his 18th goal in all competitions this season. And that is exactly what we needed. It was a bit of a fat ass way of getting to where he got to, but he got to it. So I'm not complaining. Right, here come Ace Milan. Ventacore. Chukawazi out to Eric. Ruben Loftus Streak is there again with that late run. No one picking players up. And he just runs in late, like a midfielder should do. Frank Lampard S gets some level straight away. Right. Becker Becker, I have to say, is not having. Uh, we also had a bid here for Agawe. Agamir. When we had a bid in for him. Um, I rejected it due to the fact of the pricing. Also, another player, uh, him, Kan Azan, um, has also been gaining interest from clubs as well who have started to bid. Um, but the price, and we only brought him this season, um, and the price is less than what I paid for him, and I won't sell him unless they pay more than what I brought him for. Barcelona are winning 9-0. Talk about pampering your goal difference there at this point. If they're winning 9-0 and their goal difference is only 11, Jesus. Right. Here we go. Can we finally get a win? Lovely work there. Iliev out wide to Familia Castillo. Oh, should have done better there. Agu goes long to Mola, knocks it back down to Agu. Lovely cross into the box. Not able to get at the end of that, but AC Milan are going to try and get hit on the counter-attack now and try and come out quick while we were trying to get in position. Took a bit of time. Isn't he the former Arsenal centre-back? Left foot centre-back. Yeah. Luke Ruben off his cheek, plays it out wide. Sophie, Luca, great tackle. 
Ruben Loftus Cheek, Theo, Lou. Should have scored that, it felt like. Right, let's make a final change. Take Scott McTominay off. Boom. Bolster up that midfield just a little bit. Five minutes of other time, looks like we're going to get a point out of this. I'm fine with that because it enters us into this. Uh, Leipzig are in there around here as well, but we're playing Leipzig at home. So we have to see how we get on. We create enough chances, just wasn't there for us, but that is fine. I'm not too overly worried by it. But right, let's get to the right, here we go, the most important game today. We played uh, Celta Vigo, drew 1-1. So now it is down to us to try and our oh, fuck me we got injuries. Okay. That's fine, let's keep it this. Let's get into it. Oh dear Jesus. Hopefully we can pick up the win. Okay, they're playing a 4 2 2 2. Very narrow. Fuck. What do I feel like we're going to screw ourselves over in this game? I feel like this is going to be the downfall for us because we're going to do it. Opinieda 1 0 Rebel Leipzig. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. Can we please do something here today? Come on, Agu, Alpine, swings it into Familia Castillo, couldn't get there. But can he be able to set up a goal here? No, Becca Becker's there. Coresma, Familia Castillo, Coresma, Becca Becca, finds Familia Castillo, tries to go through the face of goal, does a second time lucky, but they're able to knock it out for a corner. Can we do something with this corner kick? Go to the back post, headed it. Better, but still not good enough. Still haven't got any word on a new stadium. We might hear something by the end of the season. Who knows? All right, Cilia, Alpine, Jal Victor, Rilliania, down the line to Alpine. He needed to bury that. He needed to bury that. Familia Castilla goes near post. It's over. Come on, they need a fire up their ass to do something. Right, Agu, Alpine, finds Agu again, cuts it back to Charisma. Right, another throw in here again. Agu, Alpine, again to Agu, finds Alpine again, near post, great save by the goalkeeper. We keep up with this pressure. Could get something out of this. Alpine back to the linear. Familia Castillo. And again, heads it back, but nothing to do. Right. Let's go. Can we win this ball back? Xavier. And that has probably put the nail in the coffin here. 
got to think of something now. Something that I got. We got. Yeah, it might have to be this. I don't know what to do. Right, let's try this. Four, two, three, one. We're going full out attacking now. Oh, we just we need to score two. We need a win actually. Right, Agu, Chari. Agu goes back, heads it down. Karezma couldn't get it, and he's got a second chance here. He goes down the line, crosses it in. Renier's there, gets cleared out. Agu, crosses it in. Renier gets taken out. That should be a penalty there. Got fine down the stack. Just realised I've done something. Okay. And it's been awarded. We have a penalty here. Who is stepping up for it? is Alpine will be stepping up to get us closer. Fuck off. Oh, my God. Just stupidity here today. No, 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 like there seems to be a lack of anything. Confidence. I don't know get why, because we're doing really well in the league. But this formation brings up real big loopholes in what we do. All right, familiar Castillo goes down the line again, crosses it in. Renier's there. Goal. Don't celebrate. Come on, get the ball, run back. It's a good goal, but we still got time here. Come on. Right, Elias can come on. Let's mm. try that. Just trying anything now to get the ball up there at some point. And hopefully someone does something to get a highlight. We've got five minutes of added on time. I think our dream is about to end. And it has. Our dream of being in the next round of the Champions League has gone. So which now is we just need to concentrate on the league and try and make sure... So annoyed by that. That's the first time ever on this channel that I have been knocked out of the Champions League in that type of thing. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to look up players for next season that can really push us to the next level. Like massively. Centre-backs have to be the option for it. Right. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Disappointing end to the Champions League campaign. But we've got the league campaign. We've got Barcelona and Real Madrid to come up next. So with love, with care, my name's been Mark. You guys have been amazing. Peace.